Maybe the last thing that I want to tell you guys is the way that it created the topic, okay? If we take a look here in our topic, um, let me just run once again the application. So if we take a look here in our topic, we can see that the name of the topic is almost the same as the name of our function, our method here. So for example, customer supplier, right? If we take a look here, customer supplier. And then the spring close screen just add here, right? A suffix and it's out, okay? Which means that we are sending data, right? Output, out, out, outputting data, right? And zero here, okay? So uh, in next videos, I will try to explain you more about out, in, and all these index that we are seeing here, okay? But for example, if you are, uh, I know that you guys are uh, smart, are intelligent, and you know that there is, for example, be functions, right? Be supplier, be consumer. So later we will see what the zero here means, okay? So guys, now we need to have control. We need to take control of how we are emitting our data. Polling and emitting data every second, maybe for this use case is not very good, okay? But remember, maybe you need this use case when you are implementing transaction out of box, okay, pattern, which is a good pattern, or maybe you are trying to export data in real time, okay, once Spring is using some mechanism uh, that allow us to poll every second, and you can even customize uh, the time that it's sending the data. But for now, we need to follow another approach, okay, we need to control, we need to, to send data when, uh, for example, here our service creates a new customer. So let's do that. In that order, we are going to use the reactive API, okay? The reactive functions. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to create a new bin, okay? That will allow us to send the data. So let's do it. For example, here we are going to use the syncs, okay that many i will explain you guys what does it mean okay let's just call it by for example customer producer let's just create it as a bin so it will return the sinks okay many that um for now let's just do it like this and latest okay so let's set it as a bin this is very nice so we have created here a new bin and if you remember guys when you create a bin you need a configuration so a configuration instead of having here at component stereotype we need at configuration okay so the configuration is the place that we create our bins okay when you talk about spring uh, Spring Boot, okay? And yeah, so in that order, instead of having here this, which I don't really like it, okay, for now, later in the next videos, maybe we are going to implement the transaction uh, out box pattern, okay? But for now, let's just use here the customer producer and let's say, okay, as a flux, as we can see, it's complaining because now it's expecting a flux, okay? It's expecting a flux of customer. So what is a flux? If you guys uh, understand the reactive function, there is two, two, two kinds of uh, way to emit data. We have the, the mono, okay? For example, here we have the mono and flux. So mono is a way that we can emit Okay, it's a publisher that emits zero or one data, okay, or one signal in, the, in this case. So, flux, okay, emits one or more data, okay, it's unbounded. So, uh, this, we, you don't need to really understand, 
okay the reactive apis okay but i just give you an example here and yeah a simple uh, a simple explanation okay i just gave you a simple explanation so um the next thing that we need to do is as you can as you can see here we just have these two beans okay now if we go back to our service we need to refactor it okay let's say that okay now we have customer created okay we put it in the past because we are interpreting it as an event so an event is something that happened in the past okay that's why we need to put it in the past so customer created so how we are going to emit this data how we are going to publish this data into kafka okay so now we need to let me just put here the good encapsulation okay so now let me inject i'm injecting here the sinks that we just created sinks many okay many customer it should be the customer and I'm, I'm just going to inject this bean okay this bean into my service okay we are injecting this one in our service and this other one will be triggered one once we uh, call this method here the the method that this bean uh, has so now now let's just uh, produce the event okay let's publish the event um, in that order let's use the customer producer customer producer that let's call the method try emit as we can see here the try emit uh, try emit next it will receive a customer so in that order we are going to use here customer created so after that for now let's just return the customer created into controller okay so it's very easy we are using guys we are using the reactive approach because uh, otherwise we could use the stream bridge that we saw in the other video but i think if we are going to use the functional okay it's nice to use the functional because we we, we work with functions and they are pure and they have a mature way to create your code okay so that's why we are using here the function but with reactive api remember guys using this doesn't mean that our application is 100 percent reactive no we are just using reactive api because if you need it to be 100 percent reactive you need to use more than only this one for example the concept of back pressure your we are using here for example the jd uh, the, the the r2 uh, rdbc okay uh, for uh, spring data and so on to reactive you need to really use other stuff okay maybe in future we will see but for now it's all that we need so now let's run our application All right, so first thing we need to go to our AKHQ, which is the UI that we are using to see what we have in, uh, in Kafka, okay? So let me just, for example, here, uh, delete all messages that we have in our topic, okay? So let me just do it. Now let's go back. As we can see, we don't have any message. Now let's open our Intel, uh, our Postman, okay? And let me just, for example, create here a new um, customer. Let's suppose his name is uh, Steve Austin. So now let's create, okay? We have created the stone called Steve Austin. Let's check, right guys. As we can see, we have here the Stone Call Steve Austin customer. And as we can see here in our application, okay, it's emitting 
the event, okay? Customer created, once we trigger, okay, this function, we emit a new uh, event into Kafka, okay? And what we need, just two beams and nothing else. I can just show you guys here, my application config, we don't have any other configuration, okay? So let me just create another, let me just put here, for example, um, Josh Long, okay, from Spring Team, and I don't know when he was born, but I think he's young. Let me just put here October. Um, yeah, let's just Josh, someone. Yeah, now let's check here. We have, as we can see, okay, we have. The second customer, if we try to, to see, we have just wrong. So we are publishing events into Kafka, okay, using Spring Cloud Stream. And for this particular case, we use the functional approach using the reactive API, okay? Remember, guys, reactive API, not um, everything like reactive, okay? Async, non blocking. Uh, back pressure so all those things we will see maybe later in the future so the name of our topic okay has been created using like our method okay so customer supplier if we check here okay customer supplier so in the next video i will show you guys how we can customize it and say the correct topic that we are going to send the event so guys, now, once again, let's take a look here, okay? This is the name of our topic. As we can see, the name doesn't tell us anything good, right? We need a correct name. And also, what will happen if, for example, if we have to, to send also the change email event, okay? So, instead of relying on our function here, which is a supplier, okay, our um, functional interface, right, supplier, instead of uh, relying on this method name in order to be created, um, we need to put, let me just say like, we need to create a new way that will allow us to define the name of our topic. Okay, the name of our topic cannot be the same as the name of our function or our bean, right? Maybe it's nice for your case, but let's suppose that we need a real topic name. So in that order, uh, we need just to, for example, start adding here some configurations for Spring Cloud Stream and Spring Cloud uh, function, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is to set the Spring Cloud function definition. Okay, in this case, we are going to say, okay, yeah, Spring Cloud Stream, okay, for this function, okay, we are, we are defining our functions. Let me just go back here, okay, let's put this name, customer supplier, okay. Now, we need to, to say, okay, when we produce any event, okay, any message for this function, we need to set, we need to specify the topic. We are telling the Spring, okay, this for, for, for this function, for this supplier, the destination, okay, will be the topic X, Y, Z, right? So in that order, we just need to here, go here, add more, one property, which will be Spring Cloud, uh, in this case, stream, Okay, bindings, and then we say, okay, the name of our function, and we are telling the spring, okay, this is an out, okay, this is the, we, we are emitting, okay, because if we are consuming, the next video will be the consumer, if we are consuming, it will be the in, but we are producing, okay, it will be the out, okay, and then we set the destination, okay, instead of having here, customer supplier out zero, 
we are going to tell okay the, the destination will be customer let's suppose topic okay later you can just uh, do the topic naming convention and something like that okay and yes that's it i think now let's run our application okay uh, by default it's creating the topic because uh, okay if we check here now we have here the topic customer topic just as we defined here okay so now we are going to produce an event okay a message into kafka and it will be delivered here in this topic so for now let me just open my postman and we have here a new customer okay uh, let's just uh, have it as sasha gray okay and now let's produce now let's check the kafka now yes we have here the sasha gray and if we for example set here another one let me just um put for example uh yeah let me just for example put here franz kafka okay the writer and let's i don't know when he was born but let me just so if we produce here franz kafka let's go here to our akhq and we can see here okay the franz kafka has been delivered to the correct topic okay in that case we don't need this topic here okay this topic one this this one okay we don't need any more let's just delete it so guys uh, this is what we can say about the producer of course if you have more functions let me just show you for example for example here we have something uh, let's suppose instead of customer let's say for example address i know that it will not exist okay you can just for example come here once again oops and say all right we have now another one okay which is uh, the address and for example for the address what you want what you're gonna do okay you just need to set something like this for example the address topic okay so guys I hope that you enjoy it was just an example okay i hope that you really enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe and put some likes because this is very nice concept so um let's go now to our consumers and see you in the next video